as a partner of KPMG here in the Isle of Man, but also head of insurance for the Crown Appendencies. I've been working with captives in multiple jurisdictions for nearly two decades now. I'm the managing director of one of the leading law firms on the Isle of Man, and we have been involved with advising the captive insurance industry for well over 20 years as a firm. What do you think differentiates us in respect of captives to other jurisdictions? I've been here over a decade now, and the, the message from clients that come here is consistent. Um, you know, there's a good reason why the Isle of Man is picked by FTSE 100, FTSE 250, and, and global organisations. And it's, it comes down to a number of key things, I think. It's, it's all the key advisors are here, mm. whether that's in the insurance industry, whether that's accountants, mm. lawyers, mm. the right banks, the mm. banks that everyone recognises. They're all brands that they can associate with and also the access to the regulator. Mm. Um, it's very, very different experience to, to other leading jurisdictions, mm. and you can just get things done really quick. So what do you think is the future for the captive industry in the Isle of Man? In 2021, the Isle of Man regulator, the Financial Services Authority, will introduce bespoke uh, regulations that will separate out effectively the captives from commercial insurers. Once those are implemented, will be one of only two jurisdictions to have those tailored, bespoke regulations in place. So do you think that means more regulation than Mark? One of the key features um, that the regulator um, brought in was understanding when those reduced regulatory framework would apply right. to the captive market, bearing in mind that they don't insure first parties. So if they do apply, then there will be bespoke provisions relating to unrelated or third party business. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and I actually sat on, on the committee that worked with the regulator on it, and they were very keen to get industry buy-in um, and industry insight, which was, which was great. And there's, there's two things. You're, you're balancing international sort of gold standards, mm -hmm. but also trying to be proportionate to, to the market and, and the risk of the organisations. And so they did a lot of work over that, and it did take a, a fair amount of time as a result. But I think they've got a really good result now that is, is uh, a proportionate level of capital, recognising those risks, um, but equally provides the appropriate level of governance. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier on, you know, many of the companies that, in, that, that have their captive here in the Isle of Man are well-known household brands, and it's really important to them that they, they are in the right jurisdiction. Yeah. So these changes to regulations mm -hmm. are intended to support uh, captive market growth? The, the insurance market is going through quite a tough time at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you can get cover, you're paying quite some prices for it. Um, and there are many, many clients that talk to us um, about how they are struggling to get that mm. coverage. So I think what the Isle of Man has done is recognise that there is a very different risk profile mm. to groups that are coming up with, with commercial insurance solutions mm. versus, versus someone who's writing with, with Bob on the street. Yeah. Um, and they've tailored those, those requirements to make sure that it is easier and you're quicker to market. Mm. And never has the market conditions required for that speed. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs>